Retargeting audience strategy has changed in the last year, once Apple released their iOS 14 update and that started affecting the number of people you can retarget. And the problem is that some are still using those outdated strategies and they blame and they wonder and they say that Facebook ads are dead. That's not true at all. I want you to ask yourself why we still have millions of brands out there running and spending aggressively on hundreds if not thousands of ads. So what I'm going to show you in this video is a step-by-step -step process on how you create retargeting campaigns from scratch and considering and adapting to all the changes that have happened and are still happening right now. Okay, enough talking, let's dive into this video right away. So first thing first we have to do is to be in the ads manager. For that, what you have to do is type business.facebook.com slash ads manager. From here, we'll go ahead and we'll create a new campaign from scratch. We'll click on the create button and here maybe you'll have that old layout. That doesn't matter if you want conversions, if you want sales, then either use conversions if you have the old layout or sales if you have the layout that I am having right here. What this is going to allow us, this is going to reduce our cost as with this type of optimization, Facebook is gonna go first after people who are most likely to convert right now. So if this is your goal, if you are trying to get sales, which I assume that this is why you're watching this video, then go ahead and click on sales or conversion. We'll go ahead and we'll click continue. And now if you do have this tab, then we'll select manual sales campaign. If you don't have, then just don't worry about this. I'm not gonna stay too much on the things that don't really impact the results, such as your campaign name. When it comes to the campaign name, just keep it simple. You want to make sure that you call it something that is going to be suggestive for you. So you can go back to your ads manager after a couple days and you can understand what is that campaign about in a matter of seconds. How I usually call it is retargeting slash and then the type of budgeting, which for this case is going to be campaign budget optimization. Usually I find that CBO, which stands for campaign budget optimization, is working much better for retargeting campaigns. If I don't tackle other things like special ad categories, campaign details, or AB tests, then they simply don't matter for our purpose, and we are going just to ignore them. Here you want to turn on the campaign budget optimization. So a question that will come up pretty frequently is what kind of budget should I put into my retargeting campaign? Well, for these, we have to think about what is our audience size. You can't spend thousands or hundreds of dollars in your retargeting campaign when you have just a couple thousands of people. Because in that case, you're gonna burn out your audience just in a matter of days. So an audience size rule that I use for my clients is if first the audience size is in the range of a couple thousands or even a couple tens of thousands, then the budget is going to be up to $100. In this case, I'm gonna set at 50 pounds a day. On the other hand, if you know that you have like hundreds of thousands of people in your retargeting campaign or like millions of people, in that case, you might increase your budget to a couple hundreds of dollars per day or even uh, maybe $1,000. After that, we are done with our campaign level and now we'll go ahead and we'll click next. Now, when we are on the ad set level, here the most important thing is actually the audience that we want to select. First thing first, you gotta set the ad set name. Usually, I just call it what is the audience that I'm going to target. For this example, I'm gonna set all website visitors. Make sure that you set up your pixel and you choose the conversion event which you want to optimize for. The best conversion event you can optimize for is purchase because this is going to allow you to target people who are far likely to take an action and more specifically a purchase. If you didn't set up your pixel, then you will simply not be able to retarget people who've interacted with your website. That's why ensure that your pixel is on your website and it's firing the right events such as add to cart, initial checkout, and obviously purchase. Now we'll scroll down until we are at the audience section. 
right here what we have to keep in mind is that in the Facebook ecosystem the retargeting audiences they are called custom audiences if you don't have a custom audience so what you should do is to click on this uh, drop down button create new right here select custom audience and here we have a huge range of custom audiences that you can create in this video, I am going to tackle the ones that are most important for e-commerce stores. The most powerful ones are your website sources and your customer list. When we select, for example, website, here we can retarget people based on your website visitors, based on uh, specific web pages, time spent, or the events itself, such as page view, view content, add to cart, and many other ones. When it comes to retention, I highly and highly recommend you changing your retention to the highest range. And in Facebook Ads Manager, when it comes to website custom audiences, you can select up to 180 days, which this is what I recommend you. The reason for that is that now because the audiences shrunk because of the iOS 14 update, many people opted out from tracking and you simply cannot retarget all people. So for example, if you had in the past, let's say 2000 people, and now let's say 80% opted out from your retargeting audience. Well, that simply means that now you can only retarget 20% from that 2000 people, which is not a huge audience. And that is the last thing you want to have when it comes to retargeting campaigns because Facebook prefers more larger audiences because they can optimize your campaigns much, much better. After creating your custom audience, just name it and then uh, click on create audience. I'm not gonna create one because I already have. If I go back to custom audience, then here you can also create a custom audience based on your customer list. And this I think is one of the most powerful audiences. Your email list is invaluable because there you have all your loyal customers all the people who are really and really interested in your products and being able to take your customer audience and insert into your facebook ads campaign right there you keep nurturing your loyal customers which that will make them go back to your store and buy again and again and again other sources that are pretty powerful as well are video viewers instagram engagers and facebook engagers these ones are not affected from the iOS 14 update, which is extremely and extremely awesome because you can still retarget 100% all people who've engaged with your brand or who've watched a specific time range from one of your video or who've engaged with your Facebook page, for example. I have two strategies when it comes to retarding campaigns. The first one is going to be a good fit if your brand doesn't have a huge retargeting audience. Meaning is that if you have just a couple thousands of people, then this one is gonna be the best strategies that you can use. And that is stacking your retargeting audiences in just one single ad set. So basically what I have is just one campaign with one single ad set stacking and combining all the audiences that I need to retarget, such as your website visitors, which I'm going to include right here. So all website visitors and uh, all Instagram engagers and Facebook engagers in the last 365 days. So I'm going to include Facebook engagers and all Instagram engagers. And this is going to be a powerful campaign as like I said before, Facebook likes more of the broadest audience possible. They can optimize better your ads and they can show your ads to the right people. Do not narrow down too much your audiences and separate your ad sets where you have like 10 ad sets targeting ads to cart, initial checkouts, that used to work in the past because people wanted to know who is my audience that is converting the best. But my question is, even if you do find out who is converting the best, then what are you going to do next? Usually when the audience is too small, and even if it's converting in the first days, then afterwards your creatives will get fatigued very, very quickly. People will get bored of your ads and they will skip your ads right away. And it's gonna be much harder to refresh your ads over and over and over, considering that you need to put ads that people will like which is much harder than having just one single broad ad set where you use one winning creative for a longer period of time. Now, I want to mention one thing, Wolf. 
If you believe that your retargeting audience is huge, because I have some clients where the re-engagement audiences, like video viewers audience, the size of that is in terms of millions. Then in that case, I'm gonna separate the re-engagement audience from retargeting audience. I'm gonna have two ad sets, one with website visitors, including add to cart, initial checkouts, and one with re-engagement audiences like Instagram engagers, Facebook engagers, and video viewers. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to change the message for that audience. Think about this, those millions of people, let's say, who watched one of your Instagram Reels, a good chunk from those people will not be at that buying level from the retargeting audience. They will not be so educated or they will be in that stage when they do not even know that they have a problem that your product can solve or they do know that they have a problem but they are not so sure that your product can solve their problem. That's why you need to ensure that the message you're using for them is gonna be slightly different and maybe you want there to educate more before you try to sell them. I hope this makes sense and if you truly get this then you are going to be very successful with your retargeting campaigns. Next point is location. Don't worry so much about this, just retarget people from the location that is your target market. The age and the gender just leave it as default and do not include any other interest. When it comes to placements, go for automatic placements, you are gonna be disappointed because they perform the best when it comes to retargeting audience. You don't want to narrow down your custom audience because they are already pretty small and like I said, Facebook needs larger audiences nowadays. And last thing from the ad set I want to mention is that when you click here on show more options, make sure that you select the attribution setting for seven day after click and one day view. And what is this going to do is Facebook will look basically at the results uh, based on the seven day click or one day view. So if someone clicked, let's say yesterday, but they converted today, that sale is still gonna be attributed to your Facebook Ads Manager. And this is quite important because the more Facebook can read who is converting, the better they will be able to optimize your campaigns. And this is the largest range that you can use right now. After we're done, we will go to the ad level. And here, it's all about the visual part. I'm gonna give you some ad copy and creative tips because this is going to make all the difference when it comes to getting the highest return on ad spend. When it comes to converting people who are familiar with your brand, you want to ensure that you use offers. Offers will convert the best. Think about this, when a person already knows about your brand and they are quite comfortable with what you're selling, at this moment they are just waiting for that offer. Now I want to prevent you from the mistake that I made. You want to be cautious when it comes to the frequency of giving offers. You don't want to train your audience that I'm giving offers like once a month because they will wait only for that. And you will simply see that you know some days you have like a very huge revenue and then the rest of the days of that month your sales are very very low. So when it comes to the frequency Give them offers when it does make sense, such as events or some kind of anniversaries where it's a product launch. Make sure that you give them a reason of why you're giving that offer because even the word because, like literally the word because itself is very, very powerful in copywriting. And the second tip I want to give you that I believe is going to be very helpful for your brand is ensure that you write short copies that talk directly to your customer. In copywriting, if you don't say it, don't write it. I often see how advertisers and business owners, they're trying to make their ad copy too polished, too perfect, like putting the right comma, the right dot at the right place. Copywriting doesn't work like that. You don't want to make it too academical because people will not resonate with that, but also you don't want to make it like with too many grammatical errors because in that case you make your brand look unprofessional. 
You gotta find the better balance and you find it by looking at your branding, at your product and at your price points. Now if we talk about with ad creatives, actually I have two videos where you can go and watch them and you can get inspired with some ad creatives you can use and diversify for your ads. But here I'm gonna talk about four ad visuals considering and handling the most known objections that people have when it comes to taking that action and buying from you. First ad is us versus them. You want to show to your audience why they should choose you instead of your opponents. I always talk about that because the marketplace is much more educated. They are making a ton of research before taking action. That's why when they make that buying decision, they calculate that very well before buying that. Find out your unique selling advantage and show it to your audience visually. Second ad is native videos that showcase and demonstrate your product in action. People want to see all fancy when it comes to buying online. They want to ensure that your product is gonna do what it says will do, where it looks in the real life like you have in the product photography. This is the most common objection that people have. They are afraid if the product is not gonna fit, for example, or if it's not gonna look very well on them. And if you are a little bit more creative, you think uh, out of a box, then you will find out uh, a way to demonstrate that visually. Next thing is a must. Using social proof will definitely increase your conversion rate because people are more concerned than ever. They want to ensure that your brand is legit. That's why having famous magazines that you were featured in or reviews from real customers with photos or videos those are gonna increase your conversion rate and those are gonna drive you more sales. I notice also that having social proof on your ads such as likes, shares and comments that also increases your conversion rate as usually people look at that as well. For me it's kind of a vanity metric but for your customers this really matters. Also don't try to reinvent the wheel. If you have a proven ad that is converting well at your prospecting campaigns Take those proven patterns and incorporate them in your retargeting ads, adjusting just a little bit so it looks fresh and it looks a little bit different to the people who've interacted with your brand. By far, this one I find that is working the best. Essentially, this is how you create a retargeting campaign from scratch. Now, if you're new to my channel and you found this video valuable, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. Every other day I upload a video on digital marketing. So if you are interested in scaling your business while spending carefully and correctly your ad budget, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel now. Thanks for watching and I will speak to you in my next video.